Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the pros and the cons about living in San Diego, California. So if you're looking to move or relocate here, stay tuned. Hey there, what's going on? Lynette Jaswell here from Homes by Lynette and EXP Realty. If you're watching this video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be talking about the five pros and the five cons of living in or moving to San Diego, California. So be sure to stick around because the fifth one is my favorite and I think you'll really like it too, especially if you have kids, hint, hint. So let's jump in and start with the pros. Pro number one, the weather. No surprise here, we don't have much in terms of season changes. If you want warm weather though year round, San Diego is the perfect place for you. It's a beautiful 75 degrees all year long, which means that you could basically wear shorts and flip flops all day every day if you choose. The second and probably the pretty obvious one is our beaches. San Diego has some of the best and prettiest beaches for surfing and other water sports in the United States. The beaches of San Diego are considered by many a surf and beach lover's dream, and I'm not making this up. The Pacific Ocean is quite impressive and surfing tends to be a way of life for many. But even if you're not interested in surfing, the ocean temperatures are practically perfect for swimming, boogie boarding and body surfing without a wetsuit throughout most of the year. There's also other water sports that you can do like kayaking at La Jolla Shores or paddle boarding on the bay or jet skiing at Fiesta Island. We actually have beaches for everyone, even our furry friends. San Diego is quite pet friendly, so we have a number of dog beaches like Del Mar Beach and Ocean Beach to name a couple. Depending on the time of year, you can even let them off leash, but be sure that you obey all of the rules because you can and will be cited for not following them. I'll just put a plug in for one of my personal favorite beaches, which is Del Mar Beach at 15th Street near Seagrove Park, mostly because it is nearby where I live, but also because parking is relatively easy. And when I want to take a break from the beach, I can just step into the village of Del Mar. It has a cute little beachy vibe with some fabulous restaurants like Sabika, Jake's, and Poseidon. And if I want a more casual dining experience, there's Del Mar Pizza. This beach town also has some cute little boutique stores to shop at as well. Number three, active lifestyle. San Diego is known to be one of the healthiest places in the United States. People around here tend to be pretty active. That's because there's so many outdoor activities to do around San Diego, besides the obvious of going to the beaches. There's many biking trails and hiking trails, the most famous being Torrey Pines Nature Reserve. There's also Anions Canyon up in North County, Cowles Mountain, and the Los Penasquitos Lagoon and many, many others. We also have the Anza Borrego Desert to the east of us, as well as mountain cities like Julian and Big Bear. All those, those are considered outside of San Diego County. Basically, all in one day, you could be at the beaches basking in the sun for part of the day, and then go to the mountains for the latter part of the day to breathe in the cool air of the mountains. Overall, wherever you find yourself in the great outdoors of San Diego, and even a little beyond, it tends to be a bit less chaotic and slower paced compared to other parts of California. San Diego has a pretty relaxed vibe that permeates through the city, which is exactly why I love calling San Diego my home. The fourth pro about living in San Diego is its culture. While San Diego is a young city, relatively speaking, it still has a lot of its own culture. For one, Balboa Park is the largest urban cultural park in the United States, occupying over 1,200 acres overlooking downtown San Diego. It has 15 major museums, art galleries, performing arts venues such as the Old Globe Theater, and many, many lovely gardens. It is also home to the world famous San Diego Zoo. A little ways down the road is Old Town, known for it being the first European settlement of California, and it is the oldest neighborhood in San Diego, located right in the heart of San Diego County. 
Another important historical landmark of San Diego is the Cabrillo National Monument, which sits at the southern tip of the Point Loma Peninsula, another beautiful location in San Diego County. And I will round off my top pros list with my favorite. San Diego is family friendly. We have all kinds of attractions and things to do for families with children of all ages. We've got the Safari Park located up in Escondido, the world famous San Diego Zoo in Belleville Park downtown, SeaWorld, Legoland California up in North County, the new children's museums, one in Escondido and one downtown, the Waterfront Park, which is downtown, Birch Aquarium at Scripps, the Tide Pools at La Jolla Cove, the San Diego Botanical Gardens. I could go on and on. And if this isn't enough for you right here in San Diego, Disneyland, California Adventures, and Knott's Berry Farm is just an hour or an hour and a half north of us from here in San Diego. Okay, now in addition to all these great things about San Diego, California, I hate to do this to you, but I also have to share some of the cons. Yes, there are cons about San Diego, believe it or not. So con number one, cost of living. San Diego is not the cheapest place to live. A matter of fact, it is ranked the 10th most expensive city in America. Places like San Francisco and New York take the top two spots of most expensive, followed by other areas like Boston, DC, Seattle, Honolulu, and Los Angeles, all of which are more expensive than San Diego. Housing has gone up quite a bit over the past decade, with the median home price being around $645,000. This price can go up or down depending on what part of San Diego you want to live in. For example, homes near or on the coast in places like La Jolla, Del Mar, Carmel Valley, Simona Beach, Encinitas, and Carlsbad are almost twice as much as homes that are more inland in places like Rancho Panasquitos, Rancho Bernardo, Escondido, San Marcos, and Vista. The closer you are to the beach, the more the price goes up. You actually can get more space for your money the further you are from the coast. But there are many options dependent on your budget and your needs. So the next con that I like to address is the lack of seasons. I know people like experiencing four different distinct season throughout the year, but that simply does not exist in San Diego. For the most part, like I said earlier, it is a comfortable 75 degrees year round. The typical climate is warm, sunny, and dry with maybe around a dozen days of rain in the winter months, November to February. It can get a little chilly in the evenings during the winter months, hitting as low as about 30 degrees. If you really crave a winter wonderland though, Mammoth, Big Bear, and Julian are all relatively close by to satisfy your need for cold and snow. There are also a handful of days that San Diego can get pretty hot, like over 90 degrees or sometimes even over 100 degrees or more, especially in the inland areas or eastern parts of the county. A matter of fact, sometimes we get Santa Ana winds, which brings hot, dry air and can pose fire dangers. Another con that I'll tuck away here. We do have fire season, sadly. Overall though, if you want it summer all year long, San Diego is a great place to be. But if you're looking for seasons, not so much. Moving on to con number three, traffic. San Diego is not a super walkable city like other metro areas, unless you're in downtown San Diego. And even then, you may still need a car to get to other places outside the city because public transportation can be limited, although we now have Uber. We do have the metro bus system and other trans options like the San Diego trolley if you're staying in the downtown area or the coaster train that runs along the coast if you're looking to travel along the coast within San Diego and beyond to places like Orange County, Los Angeles, and even up to Santa Barbara. And then there's the Sprinter in North County, which spans from the coast and Oceanside inland to Escondido. Of course, there are pockets of neighborhoods throughout San Diego that are very walkable, like Pacific Highlands Ranch, Forest Ranch, Hillcrest, North Park, South Park, just to name a few. But you still probably need a vehicle to get to other parts of the county, given that San Diego is so sprawled out.
Because of that, we do have a bit of traffic on the highways. It's not as bad as Los Angeles, but we do get some gridlock, especially in the morning hours of 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. going north to south or east to west, and 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. going south to north or west to east. Of course, this is a very general idea of high gridlock periods and locations. This brings me to the fourth con, which is tourism. San Diego is a mecca for vacationers, especially in the summer months, usually beginning in May, lasting through about August or September. People are drawn to all that San Diego has to offer, from the beautiful beaches, to the weather, to the many events hosted, such as San Diego's County Fair and Comic-Con. More people means more traffic too. So if you don't like having a lot of visitors in your town, then San Diego might not be for you. And lastly, the fifth and final con I have to share with you is sports. If you are a big sports fan, San Diego really only has one major sports team, which is the San Diego Padres. The season just started and so far we are looking pretty good, especially with the recent no-hitter game by Joe Musgrove, a local hometown hero who grew up right here in San Diego. We used to have an NFL team, as you might be aware, the San Diego Chargers, but they left us in 2017. Hopefully we get another team in the future. We do also have college sports, most notably San Diego State University football and basketball, if you're into college sports. The great thing is we have a beautiful stadium downtown called Petco Park. While we may only have one sports team, the good news is the stadium is not just used for the Padres, but is a host to other big events like concerts, which attract some big headliners like Billy Joel and Journey or Motley Crue, Def Leppard, Weezer, and Green Day. Petco Park also hosts the annual motocross events and Monster Jam, usually held in February. All right, guys, that was the five pros and the five cons that you need to know about living in San Diego, California. On that topic, if you are someone who is looking to move or relocate, or you just wanna know everything there is to know about living in San Diego, make sure that you shoot me a message, give me a call, send me an email. If you are looking to move to the area, I absolutely love helping people. It's what I do every single day. And if you're looking for more information or more content around everything you need to know about living in San Diego, California, make sure that you click click the subscribe button and hit that bell icon to be notified every single time I put out a new video, which is every single week. And also don't forget to check out some of my other videos that I have on the channel to make sure you're staying up to date with everything you need to know. So with that being said, thank you for watching, enjoy the rest of your day, and I hope to see you soon in another video. Take care. Bye.